Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siren Ray, and today I'm gonna jump right into this video, and I'm gonna be talking about why you don't have that much competition and why you should open that business. Now, everybody right now opening a business is like the thing right now. Everybody wants to be independent. Everybody wants to be self-efficient, and I'm all for that. And I support everybody's dreams, and I support everyone. You feel what I'm saying? However, it's an assumption that opening a business is People, some people don't want to open with this because they feel like, okay, everybody's opening a business. So if I want to sell lashes, how can I sell lashes if everybody's selling lashes? Now, today I'm going to explain to you why you should just sell what you want and not worry about the competition. Now, me, I sell makeup. We know it's millions and millions on top of millions of makeup companies. There's, you know, you got all the way from, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills, MAC, then you got all the way down to like just, you know, Giovanna's Place or whatever the name is. If I said it right, I said it right. I'm sorry. But, um, and then lower, like just, you know, your everyday, like people you may see on Instagram just selling like pigments or lashes or whatever. It seems like everybody has these companies, right? But what we have to understand is there's different categories. So before I get to, you know, the uh, different categories, we're going to talk about why you should open a business in the first place. Now, let's say this is me and I sell lashes, right? This is me selling my lashes. And there is about... We're gonna use a we're gonna use a four person structure. These are the other people selling lashes. It's four people all together selling these lashes. Boom. Sorry, I cannot draw, but y'all get the point. Now, out of these four people, only one of these motherfuckers is gonna end up still selling lashes. Now, the first year that you in business, nine times out of ten, you not gonna make no money. <laughs> like, our first year of business, I promise, I probably only made like $500. And that shit wasn't shit because one of my photo shoots was like $500. You feel what I'm saying? However, I was a new company and it's like you have to spend money. You have to spend money. I'm going to get to that point later. I'm going to get to that point later. But I only really made $500. And I'm lucky. It's I know people who have businesses that hasn't made a profit in their first year period. So because of that, and even if they, that's if they get to the whole year of not making profit. Some people will shut down their business within like a couple months or even a couple weeks if they're not seeing profit. That's, we're going to call her Susie. So Susie is going to see, oh, I ain't making no profit right away. Susie's done. Susie's going to go back to work at her nine to five because Susie knows that her nine to five, her nine to five is making her money her nine to five is paying her bills she got enough money she she good for real so why even stress yourself out by having a business if you got if you have guaranteed money coming in every two weeks so Susie's done so that's one person that's already dropped out your your competition boom so that leaves three other so the next person we're gonna call we're gonna call her holly right holly this is the this is the second type of person that that's usually in business. Holly is going to see how Holly might be making money, right? But Holly does doesn't understand how much work actually goes into making a business. Holly might be young. Holly might have kids. My, my Holly might have like a a busy life. She might be married. A whole bunch of other shit, right? So since Holly has so much going on in her personal life, she's not she can't really put in. The time and effort that's required to keep her business afloat or run her business that efficiently. So she's like, okay, I already have a job or I have income already stable. So why stress myself out? And I still want to go out to the bar. I want to party with my friends. I want to spend time with my husband. I want, you know, do all types, whatever type shit she want to do. So Holly doesn't have the time. So Holly feels like she doesn't have the time. Well, in reality, Holly doesn't want to make that time because she wants to live in the now. She's not thinking about her future or her business. It's just not that much to her. So that 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 drops so Holly right there. So that's another competition that's out the game in like a year or less. You feel what I'm saying? A year or less. Most companies die. Most businesses die within the first year of business. So keep that in mind. You can look that up too. That's just a true statement. Most businesses die in, first, in the first year. So boom, that drops out Holly. So now all you got left is you and you got her. We're going to call her. What are we going to call her? We're going to call her Maddie. Maddie. So now it's you and Maddie. Okay. So you and Maddie first sell, s still selling lashes, right? Maddie is in high school. Maddie might have the time. Maddie might have, you know, you, Ma Maddie might have, you know, she might have the time. She might be making a little money. She might be doing some, certain things. So Maddie's doing good for herself and you're selling lashes. You're doing okay for yourself or whatever. So Maddie's like, all right, this is as far as I'm going to take it. So Maddie's just posting pictures of lashes. She's posting her friends buying her lashes, her fr her family buying her lashes. Like, that's really all she really doing. Like, certain people just buying her lashes, right? Now, depending on how far you're trying to take it, me, 
personally, I never just wanted to be a person who sell lashes locally. I never, I always thought bigger than that. So depending on how you thinking, right? Let's okay, say we, so my video cut off, but I'm not going to start it over. So like I was saying was, okay, let's say, let's say Maddie, let's say, let's say Maddie is thinking, let's say you're thinking like me, you're thinking big, right? You're thinking like, oh, I want to be the, the biggest, the next big, you know, cosmetic line there is and, and all that shit, whatever. So Maddie is only thinking locally. Maddie's only thinking about what she could do today. Maddie's not thinking about, I need to expand. Maddie's not thinking about oh i have to put more money in this people some people are going to only put but so much money into this like some people are only going to put but so much time into this some people only want to take it but so far some people actually only have businesses just to say i'm a girl boss just to have someone put in a bio it's because it's a trend right now and honestly you can tell because if you can see if somebody's had a business for a long for for six months or longer and their shit is not growing they're not doing shit differently that means that their business is just a hobby you get what I'm saying? I mean that they're not, they're not thinking, oh, bitch, they're not thinking long or they're not thinking about nails. They're thinking about, I just want to sell lashes and make a couple dollars on the side. So Holly might be that person. I just want to make a, I just want to sell lashes to make a couple dollars, a couple dollars on the side, right? But we're thinking bigger than that. If you're watching this video, you got to be thinking bigger than that. If you're not, just turn that shit off because I can't help you. you this channel not for you. If, if that's how you think it. If you, if this is a hobby for you, turn this fucking video off. I can't help you. Now. This might be a hobby for, for hobby for for Maddie. Now you might think that's your competition, but really that's not your competition. That's not your if, if Maddie is only thinking about selling locally, if Maddie's only thinking about this being a side house for her, Maddie is not your competition because Maddie is not going to grow. Maddie's never gonna grow. Maddie is gonna always be selling to her friends and family and locally. And on Instagram. That's all she's ever going to be doing because Maddie's not thinking about growth. So that means Maddie's not making growth moves. So that means Maddie's only going to get but so much competition. She's, she's only going to get but so much growth and so much customers because people are not going to want to keep seeing the same shit. People not, people, like, let me tell you something about people. People, 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 like, some of these businesses are like trends, right? So if you see somebody selling lashes, right, but they're not growing and they just got the same ass lashes, the same ass packaging, the same not, something, they not even making like ads, they not making nothing of substance, they just selling lashes, eventually you want to see somebody else who got lashes or whatever, it's true. like, you're going to go to them, like, it's, they only going to grow with so much, they only going to grow with so much, bro, so much. So at the end of the day, that really just leaves you, that leaves you, that leaves you, right, that leaves you. So now it's just us. Now let's go into the next part of what I'm saying. Why you might as well just open a business. Now, now we have. So now it's you. After you cut out, that's all the small competition. That, but if you can get out your head about thinking about the small competition, people who are on your level or lower, they don't fucking matter. Like, I'm not trying to be condescending or nothing, but like, think about it like that. To me, how I think, they don't fucking matter. Anybody that's my age or, or lower or anybody, anybody who's not, like, doesn't ha have a store or establishment or. Or who's not a macronut, it don't matter. They don't matter to me. They don't they don't fucking matter to me. You feel what I'm saying? That shit is I'm not even looking at that. I'm not even looking at what they doing. Cause I'm not trying to compete with them. Cause they the money they make it is not the money I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make more than that. I'm thinking higher than that. So and like I said, if you're not thinking higher than that, get the fuck off my video because I don't know what how to help you. But anyway, so now <clears throat> it's me. This is this is where people get intimidated. If you think like me, this is where it might get intimidated, and this is why you gotta get out your head. You have to worry about Mac. You gotta worry about, you know, Becca skin. I'm just writing some uh people that saw my vanity right now. Cover girl. All that shit. You gotta worry about these. These you gotta worry about all the big brands. We're gonna put builders here because these are the big brands, right? We gotta worry about all the big brands. All the big brands. That's that's who your real competition is. Is you versus the big brands. That's that's who the fuck you got to worry about. Because these brands are established. These these brands have trust. These brands have way more funding. These brands have a lot more. So you got to worry about how you got to think about how you can compete. Um, how you can compete with them. Now you might think, how could I ever repeat? How could I ever compete with people like this? How can I ever? You know, I'm never going to be as big as Mac or as big as Becca or whatever. That's where you're wrong. Now let's let's look at this from a standpoint of of um the crayon case, right? The crayon case, 
made i think she made like a million dollars like the year before last and i think this year maybe three million dollars i'm not sure on those numbers but it was in the millions the she and she did this with one fucking palette she did this with one fucking palette right one palette it took her five years but she did this with one palette now mac and them been around for years right years they never thought of making a crayon palette they never thought of that you know what I'm saying? and they've been around for years years and she was able to come in the market with this one palette that was something that was different that she created and make a million dollars if she can do that shit you could do that shit that's where creativity comes into now that your these all these people they have their set this is what they do now this is why you see a lot of uh a lot of people like cover girl or whatever and Matt partner with influencers and shit because what they're starting to realize is people want a more personal experience with they with their comp or their companies with the things that they buy. They want a more personal experience. So that's why they're starting to come in and grab people off the market. They're starting to grab these influence. But that shit not gonna work. You feel me? That shit's not gonna work. It's gonna work for a little bit, but this is why, you know, Sephora and you know, Forever 21, all that shit really shutting down. Cause that shit's not gonna work because everybody's starting to shop online. Everybody's starting to go to, they're starting to buy from the people they like because they, they feel personal. They feel a connection to this person. They feel they feel like they're getting more. When you when you get with Mac, it's like, when I go on to Mac, I don't really feel, I don't know who owns Mac. I don't know, you know, like, I don't ever go to none of their events. I, I just don't, like, I'm just there because I, I, I'm just there to buy a lipstick. You feel like it's just a lipstick experience. It's not like a, oh, I'm supporting someone. Like, this person thinks like me. Like, it's never like that. Yes, they have their AIDS fun and yes, they have that type of stuff. But if you don't have AIDS and shit like that, and if that's not important to you, that's not going, like, that, that's not going to make you want to buy nothing. You only buy shit because they've been around so long and that's all we ever knew until social media media really you know hit the fan now now this is where this is what you gotta do you need to become more creative become as as creative as possible create something different create something like different that nobody's ever seen before get your fucking patents at lscc too if you find something that nobody's ever done patent that shit because if they try to copy it then you can sue them and the, the money you get from suing them you can use that for your business as well but like before you even get there find something creative do something that nobody else is doing on the market once you do something that nobody else is doing on the market that's what makes people want to come to you if I, that's what makes people want to come to you and people get honestly people get tired of the same shit people get tired of the same shit like i like mac but i only go there to get a couple products i, I like you know becca skin but i only get one of their products only like that foundation that's it you feel what i'm saying i only like that foundation only like you know cover girl only like you know i only buy certain shit from them and they're going to sell what the masses want they're they're, they're they already have the market they already have the market locked down for Things that are ordinary, like, how can I put this? Like, okay, Becca sells this. They, they sell this. This is their foundation, right? Everybody needs foundation, so they're always going to sell foundation, right? Becca sells, you know, they might sell lashes, but their lashes might be, like, regular looking. Or their lashes might be, like, or their lipstick might be, like, a certain amount of shades because only people, well, only people like, new shades or red shades and shit. You come out with a specialty shade. Like, Melt Cosmetics is a small, um, a small line that started on, Insta uh, started on social media. They make, like, all types of crazy color, um, lip glosses or, like, the lip bar. I actually have, like, a lip bar, you know, lipstick. I got the black one. You feel what I'm saying? They have... They make all types of crazy different, like crazy different colors that you wouldn't normally find in a, in a CVS or a Walmart because people are not going in there fucking buying blue lipstick from Walmart because that's something only a certain amount of people are going to buy. So that's what I'm saying. You need to make something that's a specialty to your store. That's a specialty to, to like only a certain amount of people are going to come to that. You feel what I'm saying? And really, like they said, you only need like a thousand loyal customers to become a millionaire. So you get a thousand people to buy your blue lipstick and you good. You Feel what I'm saying so that so so really these people not your competition either because they're already in the market of their own they're already in the market of their own they know people gonna come buy their foundation they know people gonna come buy you know their powders they know people gonna come buy like so, their island or certain basic shit and that's what they're making money off now they're making money off basic shit like your basic staples because you got to think, we all have our staples in our makeup kit. Like, we're always, like, let's say you like NYX eyeliner. I'm going to always buy NYX eyeliner. You feel what I'm saying? But one day, 
I might feel like, hmm, I want a new palette. I want some new glitter. NYX don't have that many palettes or that many glitters and shit because they trying to keep it basic because they in a the store. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my favorite Instagram shop. Oh, I like her glitters. I like her palettes. I'm going to buy her palettes. Because I can't really get that. I can't get that at stores. I can't go out and buy that. I have to go to her. So you have to make yourself a specialty. That's what I'm saying. That's why, this is why I say you don't really have that much competition as you want. As you think you do. You really don't. You don't have. And another thing is people get tired. Like, oh, I said this already. But people get tired of the same shit. Eventually, what's what happens is people, because every time I go to the mall, I see less, less than people in Mac. I see less, less people in Sephora. Because people get tired of the same shit. They want different shit. Like, I've seen this already. I've seen this already. Like, you feel like, what, like, what is there? What else is there? People always want different shit. People always want different shit. And Mac is not selling 25, 20, 25 mm, you know, lashes because that that's not what the average woman wants. Like most women do not want, and that fan base that they had so long is not going to want twenty five mm mink lashes. They just not going to want that. So why would they start selling it? That's where you come in. You sell them big exotic lashes for girls who want to step outside the box. And sometimes I want to buy the big exotic lashes. And the, you get what I'm saying? So you have to you have to realize you don't really have that much competition as you want as you think you do because the people that's that's like you that's opening all these businesses they don't believe in themselves they feel like they don't have the time they're not making the time they're not willing to make that sacrifice so that's already cuts a whole bunch of people right there and then when you go against the basic blends the basic brands is not fucking worried about you because they already know they have their own lane that's why it's so many makeup companies because they already know they're not even in competition with each other they already have their lane they have their people who like next they have their people who like elf they have their people who like matt so they already in a lane of their own so you coming in it's not gonna hurt them and if if Crayon Case and Joanna Place, uh, you know Kylie can sneak in there like against these brands that's been selling makeup for ten years plus, why do you think that you can? Why do you think that you can? It's about consistency and being different. Find something that you can offer that these brands can't offer. That's all you got. That's all you have to do is find something that you can offer that nobody else is offering, or find something that everybody else is offering but market it differently. You know what I'm saying? Like so. That, that's all it is. I'm not going to sit up here and tell y'all my plan because that would be stupid of me, right? But what I'm saying is, like, open that motherfucking business, man. At least try it. Because a lot of these, a lot of people out here do not take them people seriously. And I bet this is my second year of business right now. And I start and me being around people and, you know, networking and shit. A lot of people do not believe in themselves. A lot of people. I thought that everybody who had a business took it seriously. I thought that everybody who had a business was confident. But that is just not the case. That is just not the case. Like... So at first, when I first opened my business, I'm like, oh, I got all this competition. All these people is selling this. All the people selling that. Now I'm not worried about a motherfucking body. I, don't, I know as long as I keep going and keep doing what I'm supposed to do, motherfuckers is gonna start fucking with me. Like that's how I, that's how I really feel. Like I already got a little mini fan base of, of comeback customers. So it's like you don't really have that much competition. You really don't have that much competition. You really don't. Half of your competition is gonna drop out. Gonna drop out, and the other half is not even selling what you're selling because they already found their lane so they're going to sell what sells for them like you feel what i'm saying like you feel what i'm saying so it's like think about it like that think about it like that that's what my channel is always about i i try to get on here and tell people different perspectives and stuff because i want people to stop being scared i want people to chase their dreams because like really you don't got shit to lose like you don't got shit to lose you don't got shit to lose like it is what it is. But anyway, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If not, then hey, it is what it is. But also follow my Instagram at siren underscore red with two Ds. All right, y'all.